Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding that you care to even watch. Anyways, in this episode, the top five asymmetrical snowboards for 2021-2022. That's right, asymmetrical snowboards, which means they have a deeper heel side side cut so that you can lay it over. So let's dive right into this list. Number five, the only directional asymmetrical board on this list, the Nidecker Tracer. That's right. You all wondered why it wasn't on the carving board list. It's because it ended up over here, because I'm trolling you. Anyways, you gotta choose whether you want the goofy or the regular version, depending on which foot you put forward. I don't know why they call it goofy, it's really superior foot. None of this inferior bullshit. Anyways, what you got with this board is a board that lays trenches. You can carve with it. It is that resort quintessential cruiser, if you will. Number four, the Capita Simulator. I love this board, but they're discontinuing it next year, so I bumped it down on this list. Why? Because I can. Because it's my list. Seriously, this board side cut actually rails turns. It's a fun freestyle twin. You do not need to sleep on this. The only downside is that tip shape can get a little hooky when you're buttering. Other than that, this board's pretty primo. It's got solid snap. It's good on edge. It's just a good, well-balanced board, realistically. Number three, the GNU Rider's Choice C3. That's right, there's a GNU on this list. You didn't think that was gonna happen, did you? If you've never ridden this board, you probably should. If you grew up riding the half pipe in the 90s, like I did, which the 90s were awful and now the fashion has returned, I don't understand this. <sighs> my PTSD's acting up just like my Agent Orange. Anyways, this is a true half pipe board, in my opinion, just with the way the side cut is. It just grips better on edge. It's good for just launching off transitions. You know, this is like hitting hips, hitting quarter pipe type of board. When you're on edge, you feel it. That magnet traction helps grip. It just locks right in. It's a little bit of a stiffer flex. This is actually one of the stiffer ones on this list, but it is a board when you get on, you're like, damn, this thing can turn. Number two, the only unisex board on this list, the Ride Zero. You're one of they, them people, I don't know. I mean, that's what Slim Whitman is, he's one of them people. And not that Slim Whitman, our Slim Whitman, that calls in, that's awful. If you've never heard a call in from Slim Whitman, you're missing out, you should tune into the live streams. Anyways, the Ride Zero, it's basically an asymmetrical kink, it's got good flex, it presses well, it pops well, it's a park board that you can kind of ride all over. If you ride a small hill, I wouldn't hesitate to make this your like one board that does everything for you. When you get on edge, you feel it, and like, there's a big thing with riding a ride snowboard. They have a specific feel to them. They lock in better, they just lay a trench better, and they have more snap and rebound out of it. Honorable mentions, all great boards, but just barely didn't make it on this list. The Lago Casey Willax Double Barrel. What? Thought I was gonna forget my boy Casey's Pro Model? Until he sends me one to review, it just gets an honorable mention. Even though I've ridden the regular Double Barrel and I know it's a great board, I'm going to put it in the honorable mention category. If you missed out on the limited run of these, I do believe they're still taking a pre-order right now. You should probably go pre-order that. Come on, give our boy KC some money. Other boards that just barely made it on the list. The Ride Benchwarmer, the big brother to the zero. This thing's stiffer, it's beefier, but it's still a fun, damp, smooth, and lively ride. The Telos Chillum. You wouldn't even know that this thing is asymmetrical unless I told you. That's all you need to know. It's a parkour. Anyways, all great options, just barely didn't make it on this list. And the number one asymmetrical board for 2021-2022 is the Yes Greats. That's right, it's great. That's why it's number one. It's been a couple years where this thing got a little wonkapotamus on us and it sucked, but they're back at the top where they belong because this board rocks. You got that asymmetrical mid bite, which just grips right underfoot. It gives you more edge hold. This board is phenomenal. You want to ride the whole mountain and still lay deep heel side trenches and then transition over to laying deep toe side trenches? Here you go. Check it out. This board friggin' kills it. This has been my top five asymmetrical boards for 2021, 2022. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I forget one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here. I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.